All right, so we just removed a roll bar bumper off the red one, and we put it on the black Jeep. And now we're going to add a Weston winch plate to the front bumper of the red one. So here we go. All right, so we are removing the plastic skid plate, and there's little pop-out adapters that come out. All right, so this is the screw that holds the plastic skid plate on, and it seems simple, uh, Phillips head, but just unscrewing it, it simply won't come off. You have to actually get behind with a pair of pliers with your hands and squeeze these tabs in order for that screw to come out. So little tip, squeeze this down so that the threads will grip and that the uh, pin will come out, and then the uh, the plastic holder should come out a lot easier. This? Yeah. Watch your fingers. All right, got it. All right, so we're taking the front bumper off by removing these four bolts right on the inside. All right, so the front bumper is removed. So there was four bolts on each side. And we undid the fog light harness as well. And the bumper is over here on the ground. And we're going to go ahead and put in the new winch plate. Okay, so we removed two screws on each side of the metal bumper that's going to release the plastic housing off the bumper. Taking this one out. Okay, so the original hooks are coming out and it's being replaced with our Weston mount that mounts in the same spot for the winch plate. Okay, so we're removing this small plastic plate so that the new Weston plate can fit in this place. Okay, so the little silver plate insert, uh, pull it out for me real quick, Todd, so I can see it. Okay, it fits right inside here, and then the other plate matches up to it. And you're going to use the short screw on top, and then the longer screws on the bottom hole. So I guess you put a uh, lot. And the same with hole trees this side. This plate is being inserted. And you'll notice you'll have to remove this wire for the fog lights for it to fit. Put it right down or the opposite way? It's right in case you sharp wall. Alright, so we are putting the metal insert back into the plastic cover of the bumper with now with the new Weston mounts on it. So we're screwing four screws that go back into the plastic to hold the bumper together. All right, so we're going to insert the plastic and metal bumper back on to its original screw holes and mounts. And you can see the plates for the western, how they'll line up with the new metal plate. All right, so you'll notice that the brackets are in place, and as we place the new plate on top, it will line up with the holes for each bracket here and here. In addition, we're adding this bull light bar as well, and it will sit right on the front like so. Alright, so the bull bar has some threaded hole in the bottom of it, which will mount like that, and it'll come through the winch plate on both sides. Alright, so the light bar is on, and in addition to that, we're going to add these tow rings that will slide in and bolt through the holes on both sides of the plate. We're got everything mounted and now we're just tightening down all the 
bolts that come with to uh, attach to the frame. Alright, everything is tightened on top. And we're currently underneath, tightening back all the bumper bolts and all the new bolts that we installed, as well as reattaching the lighting harness. And then we will move back to putting back on the plastic spoiler and its screw caps. Alright, so we are officially done with this 2011 Red Wrangler. We have a brand new Western winch plate with a light bar and tow hooks. And it took us about two hours to complete the job. You will have some extra parts. The uh, hooks from the original bumper in the plastic plate from the original bumper as well. All right, hope you enjoyed this video from Lafayette Jeeps. Take care.